Image 24 includes two enhancements to guided self-service. First, the Manager Self-Service homepage has a new Update Team Information tile that provides direct access to guided self-service transactions. The Update Team Information page is a navigation collection that brings all available guided self-service transactions together. The left frame lists all of the delivered guided self-service transactions. Select the one that you want to use. The right frame displays the Employee Selector page for the selected transaction. Simply click an employee to initiate the selected action. The second Guided Self-Service Enhancement in Image 24 is the new Update Job Details for Group Transaction. Use this transaction when you want to select multiple employees for a Guided Self-Service update. Navigate through your management hierarchy to choose employees at any level in your reporting structure. When you drill down below your own direct reports, Breadcrumbs links let you navigate back up the reporting hierarchy. When you locate the desired group, select the employees that you want to update, then click the Continue button to begin the guided self-service process. The questionnaire page asks you what employee data you want to update. You can update any combination of department, work location, or supervisor. In this demonstration, we will only update the supervisor. This page also lists the employees that you selected. If you notice a mistake, you can remove an employee from the transaction by clicking the Delete icon. The Selected Employees list also appears on the rest of the Guided Self-Service pages, but it is collapsed by default and it no longer allows you to remove employees. The Update Job Details for Group Process works just like all other Guided Self-Service transactions. Simply enter your changes and use the Next button to step through the transaction. When you're done, submit your changes for approval. This completes our demonstration of the Guided Self-Service Navigation Collection and Multi-Select Transaction feature. The Employee Snapshot Administrator can now configure and display ratings boxes on the employee snapshot pages, where a manager can view and compare various employee ratings. The PeopleSoft application provides setup pages for the Performance versus Potential Ratings box, which will display an employee's performance rating in relation to the employee's potential, and the Risk versus Loss Ratings box to identify an individual's risk of leaving versus the impact this would have on the organization. In addition to setting up ratings boxes, Administrators will define which succession plan should display for an employee based on the status of the plan. This completes our discussion of the Employee Snapshot Configuration Enhancements. The PeopleSoft Employee Snapshot dashboards have been enhanced to include several new tiles and pages. The Promotion Readiness Dashboard now includes the Job History tile that enables managers to quickly view the recent jobs held by an employee. Managers can also assess the impact of loss, risk of leaving, performance, and potential ratings for an employee within the context of ratings boxes on the Employee Impact tile. This tile is available from the Compensation Review and Career Planning Dashboards. In addition to regular projects, the manager can also view a list of education and government projects assigned to this employee from the Performance Review Dashboard. As mentioned previously, the Career Planning Dashboard displays the Employee Impact Tile, but also displays the Succession Plan Tile where you can view the jobs and persons for which this employee is slated as a successor. This completes our demonstration of the Enhancements to Employee Snapshot Dashboards feature. Now managers can view the progress of their employees' onboarding activities using the onboarding status page. Managers can view a summary of the steps the employee has not started, visited, completed, or that may be overdue. By selecting the Remind Employee button on the page, managers can send a notification to the employee to finish the onboarding steps. To support the Remind Employee notification, the Onboarding Installation page includes the Reminder Template field. The Onboarding Administrator uses this field to identify the notification template that should be sent to the employee when the manager clicks the Remind Employee button on the Onboarding Activities page. 
This completes our discussion of the addition of manager view of onboarding feature. The new Guided Personnel Action Request Fluid Interface provides a simple-to-use, intuitive application for federal HR administrators to quickly create and approve a Personnel Action Request, or PAR, using AWE Fluid Approvals. With the Guided Personnel Action Request process, U.S. federal customers can enhance productivity of PAR processors, enhance decision-making for PAR processors, and leverage AWE. Access PAR transactions with the new Create Personnel Action USF tile on the Workforce Administrator homepage. When HR processors want to submit personnel actions, enhance search capabilities, enable them to filter search results, and select the employee, or they can search for the employee directly. The required filters can be configured. Once the employee is selected, the Personnel Action Summary page displays all personnel actions for that employee. You can review the personnel actions or you can create a new one. Entering PAR details and validating data is simplified with a new guided process using Activity Guide Framework. Configure the steps and pages displayed and the page fields required for a Nature of Action code with the Page and Field Configurator utility. The guided process enables you to view important links for reference while entering PAR details. The GPPA website link also appears by default for reference. The enhanced process also simplifies how retroactive personnel actions are entered in the system. You can mark all higher dated rows as reviewed with a click of a button. Before submitting the request, review the summary of changes and the current information using the transaction summary step. This is new functionality with Image24. Using the Fluid Personnel Action Approvals, approvers can approve, deny, or push back a PAR, review the summary of changes, view job information or view edit errors, add a comment, and also view the approval chain. This completes our discussion of the Guided Personnel Action Requests for U.S. Federal feature. You now have a Fluid Dependent and Beneficiary Information page to update personal details of all your dependents and beneficiaries. You can add additional phone numbers or an email address for your dependents and beneficiaries, too. This completes our discussion of the Employee Self-Service Dependent and Beneficiary Enhancement. Administrators can identify the roles that will grant workers access to manage dotted line relationships from within the company directory fluid pages. When assigned a role that is identified on the general settings setup page for company directory fluid, a person can create or remove dotted line reporting relationships. This completes our discussion of the company directory setup enhancement. The United States Citizenship and Immigration Services published the approved I-9 form changes effective July 17, 2017. The revisions related to the list of acceptable documents are also reflected in PeopleSoft HCM. These changes are related to List C for the employer and include the addition of Form FS-240, the combination of all certifications of reports of birth issued by the Department of State, and the renumbering of List C documents. This completes our discussion of the updated I-9 form U.S. feature. With PeopleSoft Overtime Request Mobile Approvals, managers can approve requests from their reports to work overtime. Use the Approvals tile on the Manager Self-Service page to access the Overtime Request Pending Approvals page. Managers can view the history and approval chain for each request. The Overtime Approval feature is optimized for both desktop and smartphone. This completes our discussion of the Time and Labor Overtime Request Mobile Approvals feature. PeopleSoft Bulk Auto Enrollment allows administrators to enroll a group of time reporters into time and labor on a specific day. The administrator specifies the time reporters individually by process group query 
or as all employees, and the process inserts them into the staging table with the specified enrollment start date. The bulk enrollment process can be used for new time and labor implementations, as well as to move employee populations from another timekeeping system into PeopleSoft time and labor. This completes our discussion of the time and labor bulk auto enrollment feature. Many organizations hold applicant data at a very high level of confidentiality. Talent Acquisition Manager now provides an option for enhanced applicant security. Activate the enhanced applicant security setting for specific recruiting roles. The recruiting administrator role cannot be restricted. Under enhanced applicant security, job opening access is limited to openings where the user is the creator or a member of the hiring team. Under enhanced applicant security, users do not have access to job openings through department tree security. Applicant access is restricted to applicants who are associated with the user's job openings. If an applicant applied for multiple jobs, enhanced security means that users see only the applications for job openings to which they have access. Access to applicants who applied without a job opening remains unrestricted. As part of the enhanced applicant security feature, job openings can now be associated with applicant notes, with the forward applicant transaction, and with the send correspondence action. This allows transaction visibility to be restricted. The option to associate these transactions with job openings is available even if you don't activate enhanced applicant security for any of your users. If you do activate enhanced applicant security, transaction visibility is restricted based on access to the associated job opening. This completes our discussion of the Talent Acquisition Manager Control Access to Applicant Data feature. In Image 24, several enhancements are delivered to improve the usability of the eSocial Events Monitor. To assist administrators with troubleshooting tasks, the monitor now displays all pertinent error messages in the event details for any event that runs into error during the processing cycle. Also, as administrators review details of exclusion events in the monitor, new columns are added on the events table to show additional information, such as the events being excluded and their employee names. This completes our discussion of eSocial enhancements. HMRC will be decommissioning the Electronic Data Interchange, or EDI, channel and replacing it with an existing XML service. Current EDI users will need to migrate to the XML channel by the start of fiscal year 2018-2019. Incoming XML files, such as P6, P9, SL1, and SL2 notices, as well as NVREP, will be supported. Previously, we delivered the ability to generate the RTI outbound files FPS, EPS, and EYU in XML format. With Image 24, we're providing the ability to import inbound files, as well as the remaining outbound file for NVREQ. This completes our discussion of the XML reporting for the United Kingdom feature. The Mobile Payslip feature uses the PeopleSoft Fluid User Interface to render payslip information for small form factor devices, enabling employees to view payslip information on their smartphones. As of HCM Image 24, this functionality has been implemented for the Global Payroll Country Extension shown. This completes our discussion of the Mobile Payslip Country Extension Implementation feature. We've only shown you the highlights of the features in this PeopleSoft update image. For more information about these features and the other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the update image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.